everyone, welcome to Wicked West Books. My name is Meg West and today I am doing my April wrap up. Now I only read three books during the month of April. Yes, just three, which is for me not the best reading month, but one of those books was gigantic. Life happens sometimes and sometimes you only read three books in a month period. What are you gonna do? So the first book that I read during the month of April was my buddy read with my husband, which was his choice this last month, and that book was Monster Hunter Nemesis by Larry Correa. Now, if you've been following, you know that he's been picking, actually he's been giving me choices, and I've been picking the books that are in the series until it gets over with the series. We're getting close to the end on that one, so, woo. Well, close to caught up, there will be more books coming out. The Monster Hunter series by Larry Correa is an urban fantasy that has, you know, a little bit different than any of the other ones I've read in that it's written by someone who really, really loves guns. So the characters in these books also really, really love their toys. Nemesis is a little bit different from the other ones because you get to experience the entire thing from the point of Franks, who is basically a real life Frankenstein. And it was, it was kind of cool getting inside his head and seeing the things. I just wish it was more just his head than everyone else's head in addition to his. It would have been nice to just see everything from his point. The next book that I read, I actually listened to the audiobook. The audiobook is 45 and a half hours long. This thing is the largest book that I have ever read and book two is bigger still. The second of the three books that I read during the month of April is The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. This is the first book in the Stormlight Archives. It's a high fantasy series that Brandon Sanderson is writing that's going to be many, many books long. And this book is so big that when it goes to paperback, sometimes it's split into two different volumes because I can't get it into one paperback. I've seen the mass market paperback and it itty bitty teeny weeny print. And this book, like I said, was four and a half hours long on Audible. And the second book, book two, which my husband does own, is 48 hours and 15 minutes. So it's even bigger. Now, of course, because this is Brandon Sanderson, it is gold. It's just extremely intimidating to get into, and it took a long time to get through. This was my third attempt to read the book, and I was determined to be successful this time. And I was, and I enjoyed it. And I am actually looking forward to book two. I just... I need a break in between and book three isn't out yet so I'm not in too much of a hurry to continue into the series. So really good, great magic system of course, Brandon Sanderson is known for his fantastic magic systems and I will read book two and continue the series, I just need a little bit of a break. And then after I read that ginormous book I picked up a teeny tiny contemporary read. The book explosion book for the month of April was Geekerella by Ashley Poston. This is a Cinderella retelling during current times, and the Cinderella character is an absolute geek. If you want to know a lot more about this book, I did a spoiler-free review, which I will link down below in this description box if you want to check that out. Just know that I loved this book, even though it follows the typical plotline. It still made me cry in the places it needed to make me cry, and they were so cute, and the ending was perfect, and it was... It was very, very good, and I enjoyed it, and I am looking very much forward to this next month's Booksplosion book because it's another cutesy contemporary, and I hope it lives up to this one. This is all I have for this video. That's all I read during the month of April. I will hopefully have a longer wrap-up for you next month, and next week I have a special video that I am going to actually just film tomorrow and I'm going to work the entire week to do this project for you because I really want it to be great and I know it's going to take a lot more editing than I normally put into my videos so look forward to that. It's a video I feel needs to be made and anyone else who is a fan of the Black Jewel series by Ann Bishop has basically told me that it's a good idea to make this video so that, that's what's going to be happening next week. So yeah, that's all I had for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And feel free to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. I post videos every Thursday or else I lose books. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wicked day.